purpose in this army. To do whatever you tell me, drill sergeant. Workers at a Japanese manufacturing firm have unveiled a product they hope will take off commercially and revitalize a community. They've launched the country's first mass production program for drones, and they're building them in an area people had to evacuate after the Fukushima nuclear accident. Staff with a firm called Kikuchi Seisaksho made a demonstration flight at the factory in Minamisoma City. Their drone can fly up to 30 minutes. It takes off and lands automatically. And it can hover. Company representatives say the cost to build each unit is around $17,000. They hope to cut that in half. A venture firm backed by a university handled the drone's development. Staff there are excited about the benefits the factory offers the surrounding region. We need to create a new industry to accelerate recovery. People working there will revitalize the area. The drone factory is a great first step. The manufacturers say they've received orders from customers in Japan and the United States. They plan to build 400 drones a year. God damn it, Gump! You're a goddamn genius! The university research team in Japan has developed a new model of drone plane that can fly indoors without using GPS. The drone will be used for inspecting the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. A Chiba University research group developed the unmanned plane. It's about one meter both in width and length and has six propellers. About ten firms, including Japanese electronics makers, cooperated in the project. Now, to fly indoors where GPS does not work, conventional drones had to have positioning information provided from outside by infrared or other rays. This new model has a sensor for figuring out its position and surroundings. It's designed to avoid obstacles on its own. Global competition is becoming intense for the drone market. Amazon and Google of the U.S. are among those that are developing unmanned planes. Japan changed the Constitution to join the global drone arms race. Are they going to screw that up too? Are they going to destroy that injury? industry? Maybe they, Japan will do something cool for the whole planet for a change and destroy the drone industry. <laughs> if, you're going to, if you really want to screw something up, you get Japan in on it. They'll frig it up. I guarantee you it won't be worth a nickel when they're finished with it. Long live Japan! <laughs> <laughs> to the destroyer of the nuclear industry. Come on, you can take down the drone industry while you're at it. Don't be a wimp. That's the most outstanding answer I've ever heard. You must have a goddamn IQ of 160. You are goddamn gifted, Private Gump. A group of people has gotten together in Tokyo to mark the 61st anniversary of a U.S. hydrogen bomb test on the Bikini Atoll. The United States carried out the test in the Marshall Islands in the Pacific on March 1st, 1954. The explosion exposed local residents as well as the crew members of a Japanese fishing boat to radiation. About a hundred people gathered at Meiji Gakuin University in Tokyo. They were joined by residents of the Marshall Islands. One of them, Tempo Alfred, said he was fishing when the skies suddenly turned bright. We heard the great sound like thunder. He said he wants to work together with Japanese to rid the world of nuclear weapons as Japan is the only country to have suffered an atomic bombing. 23 crew members on the Japanese fishing boat number no. 5 Guryumaru were exposed to radiation following the nuclear test. The symposium heard suggestions that crew members of other fishing boats that were operating in the region at the time should also undergo health checkups. Documents uncovered last year showed that some of the fishermen had higher than usual levels of radioactivity. A Japanese government panel has looked at the possible effects of a major earthquake in Tokyo. It estimates over 20,000 people would be killed and millions more would be stranded amid serious traffic congestion. Authorities have released new guidelines for responding to such a large-scale disaster. After the massive earthquake in 2011, Tokyo came to a standstill. Roads were jammed with people trying to drive back home, blocking ambulances and other rescue vehicles. If a megaquake were to occur directly under the capital, wrecked and abandoned cars would cause even bigger problems. In this scenario, the city of Tokyo and the central government would call on private companies for help to remove wreckage. 
A new plan puts priority on opening eight different routes between the heart of Tokyo and surrounding areas. Under the plan, officials would check the damage to roads and decide which sections need to be cleared immediately. The plan calls for at least one route with inward and outward lanes to be cleared and opened within 48 hours. The president of a towing service says the government has asked his company to secure roads in the event of a disaster, but he said this is the only thing that's been decided so far. We will need to discuss specific and concrete details. Looking after stranded commuters is another issue. On March 11, 2011, railway stations in Tokyo were packed with people after the earthquake forced trains to stop. I'm at a total loss. I have no choice but to walk. A massive quake in the capital would leave more than 900,000 people with no way to get home. Tokyo Metropolitan officials say only about 20 percent of them would be able to find accommodations. Many private companies are unwilling to open their facilities to stranded commuters. They are worried that they might be held responsible for any accidents or other problems. The new government guidelines make clear that companies providing shelter will not be held responsible for accidents when they are not at fault. The guidelines show that authorities would not pin blame only on private companies, but rather work together. Experts say that in order to win the cooperation of the private sector, legal immunity needs to be guaranteed. Focus groups found this video bleak, haphazard, and approximately 25 seconds too long. You be the judge.